How's it going guys? It's your boy Fez. Um, today we're going to be doing something that's a bit like what I used to do on the channel. Um, we're going to be messing around with a scooter. This is a Leximoto Valencia I think. I can't remember off the top. Yeah, Valencia. Um, <coughs> got a lad bought it off me a fair while but I can't actually remember when. Um, there has been some confusion as to how much oil to put in it and that has resulted in, um, if we have a look over here, the piston is absolutely minced. Um, wasn't seized, but that obviously ain't gonna work. So what we've got to do today is, we've got to rebuild the engine, uh, the top end anyway, um, put the engine back on the bike, and then, um, he's also got an aftermarket exhaust for it because the exhaust that was on it was uh, pretty rotten. And, um, I've got to adapt this because I don't know if, if ever you buy these, they are for you, but I've actually done this before. Um, it obviously fits up to the engine, no problem, but then it's actually positioned like that, and obviously there's nowhere for the uh, so as you call it, muffler to um, to go. So, what we've got to do is we've got to just turn that. This, we've got to, what we're going to do is we're going to grind out this weld, turn it around sort of 45 degrees, uh, make it so that it sits about somewhere like that. So, um so yeah, that's the plan for today. It's quite a bit to do today. A bit beyond what I should have been doing this week because we've been on a couple of courses this week and messing about doing other thingies. So, um, but I thought it'd be quite a nice little one day build for you guys to uh, to watch. I don't know if you might not, but um, yeah, but that's what I'm doing. So stick around. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab all the tools out. Um, oh, hang on. This is the top end kit. Bear with. This is the top end bit. Hopefully for this engine. Probably should have checked actually. He asked me the day if it come in. I said, yeah, it's in. Yeah. Here we go. So in this, this is the one two fire piston. Obviously you can get a lot of big boards and stuff like that about, but uh, we're gonna stick to standard size. In here we've got obviously the piston is in that bit there. And then we've got the cylinder, rings, gaskets, everything all the good bits that we need for fixing this bike. So, first thing we're gonna do is build the engine, put the engine back on the bike, then make the exhaust for it. So, hopefully if it all goes smoothly, should have it done in a few hours. So, uh, but yeah, stick around like, we'll see how we get on. Okie dokie, right, first problem of the day. Um, in order to get the old piston off, you have to pull these little rings out. We've got one over here. Uh, I think the gudgeon pin clips or something they're called. What that does is stop the pin in there coming out when it's going up and down, seeps in the piston. And the problem we've got is because of all the extra material that's come off here, this happens fairly often, is the, uh, the gudgeon pin won't come out. And also, which wouldn't really matter because we've got the other side out and then you'd usually just push the, uh, the pin through and it'd be fine, but it's pretty stuck in there. So what I've got, is I made a little thingy a while back, this obviously happened before. What you do is get the got this threaded got this um bolt here and the nut. What you do is get that and you put hang on put that on it and what you do is with the nut on the end you put it through there and then you turn it and it pulls the uh pulls the pin out, hopefully that'll work. I've never had it so up where I can't actually get this out though. I've had it where the pin won't come out, but I've never had it where the actual clip won't come out. Um, but hopefully it won't be too much of a problem, so we're gonna try and pull that out, and then hopefully it'll be plain sailing from there. Right, I thought I'd just show you this now it's set up. Um, what I've used is, uh, we've got the 24 mil socket. It doesn't really matter as long as it's bigger than the clip you're putting in. And you put the washers on that side, and you put a the bolt through and then see there you've got the, the nut on the other end and as you turn this side it pulls that and see it's pulling the gudgeon pin through the only problem you have is sometimes like that it um, starts to spin and actually I'm using a different bolt so that's probably as far as I'm going to get with this one what I'll have to do now is put some more washers on this side repeat it and just keep pulling it through until we can get the piston off bit of a ball eh? but I can't think of any other way to do it and they don't actually make um, a puller as far as I know I did look the first time this happened um, so 
So maybe that's an idea for someone who wants um, an invention. Budge, gudgeon pin puller tool would be a cool tool. Doing something like this. But anyway, um, yeah, just thought I'd show you that. Right, um, got that out. Now it's off the bike, I can, now it's off the engine, the Comrade or whatever, I can show you how it works properly, a bit easier. That goes on there, that goes on there. As the nut tightens, pulls that out. Pretty easy. I'm surprising no one makes a, a tool for it though. So, but yeah, so that's off. You can see where it's been catching. See where bits of metal I've got in there and sort of welded themselves to it. And that's why it was hard to get out. Um, so yeah, all is well, all is well with the world. Um, now I'm just gonna build the engine. So hopefully that, this will all go pretty smoothly. Okay, we have now got the engine back together. It's got the new piston, cylinder, all new gaskets and thingies on it. So hopefully now, um, put it back on the bike and we'll make the exhaust and then hopefully we'll run. So fingers crossed, wish me luck. Right, engine's back in the bike, back on the bike, whatever you want to say. Um, that's pretty easy to get one of these engines back on because the only there's two bolts holding them on which is this big long one there and then you got one there for the rear suspension nice and easy easy done um plug the wires back in basically start wires it's the wires from the um from the generator which starts supply they supply the electricity to the bike they get a regulator rectifier and then do all the clever gubbins and these are for telling it when to spark so They've all got connectors that can only go in one way, so it's really easy, like, really bloody easy. Right, um, I've got to, the only thing left to do then is obviously you've got your throttle cable that goes to the carburetor and your rear brake, um, which is really easy. So we'll bang them back on. Um, we've also then got to do the exhaust, which is here. So I'm going to start work on that now. Um, basically, I'm just repositioning the... Uh, basically turning that through 45 degrees should be pretty easy grind that weld out turn it because the way it is on there because of the shape of it you can get a pretty good turn on it it should be absolutely spiffing hopefully in here well yeah so we've got the gasket and the hanger for that as well so should all be good a little look um i don't think he's going to have the hanger on it because i haven't got the uh because it hasn't got a but I don't think we're going to be using that because it hasn't got anywhere to hang it off but I've done it before on exactly the same bike and it was absolutely fine because that hasn't really got much weight to it and by the time it's braced there and there then you've got what six bolts holding it on it ain't going nowhere so um so yeah let's crack on with that then right progress um we've managed to it's so hot I don't know, um we've ground that off there We've also had to bend that to get the work of grind on it, but we can bend it back quite easily. Um, basically, that's off there. What we've got to do is now, let's turn it round to where we want it. So what we'll probably do, that obviously goes on there, and then it points that way. So what we need to do, so that's gonna be in there somewhere. Hmm, I don't know actually, yeah. Basically, we've got to turn it through 90 degrees, through whatever degrees we need to do. So to do that, we'll probably bolt it to the bike, um, get it positioned where we want it, tack it up, take it back off, weld it. Right, guys, hopefully um, we're pretty much there. Exhaust is on, I'm welded. Um, I had to do a bit of a bodge with some a bolt there to get it to stay in place, because obviously this isn't meant for this bike, but it's on and it ain't going nowhere. Um, battery's on carburetor's on and I primed it as well because it's got like a vacuum pump you have to keep sucking it to make sure there's fuel in the carb the battery's been charged so um, yeah hopefully now so uh, we're away that's a good result oh yeah well <laughs> I'll have to give it a bit of a rev oh. Right, bear with. <laughs> it's obviously starting now, it's cool. I think I'm just gonna have to uh, use both hands to get her going a bit better, and then we'll, uh, I'll be back. Right, hopefully you can hear me. Took a bit of finesse in, but she's a goer. Obviously very loud. Um, these exhausts are very loud, it's basically a straight pipe. Bits and 
pieces, so I'm going to let it warm up a bit first, going to let it bed the piston in a bit, it's obviously got fresh oil in it and that, um, I'm going to put it back together, put the seat back on, which is broke, but he seems to go with that, and then um, we'll have a little blast on it up and down the street to see how she's going. Right, whew, what a ball ache, <laughs> I've got to go in, um, she actually got going pretty easy, but then I took it for a little ride up and down the street, and um, yeah, one playing ball breaking up a lot, turned out it's really very lean. So then I put another carburetor I had on it when it was running so rich it'd barely start. Um, what I've ended up having to do, and I think it's all because of the exhaust, these don't like seem to like running with no back pressure on GUR6 engines. I don't know, they're just a bit of a pain. Um, what I've actually done is I got a bit sick of it and I actually chucked on this carburetor, which is actually for a 200cc GUR6 quad. Um, I was going to use it on the turbo scooty, um, I never got around to it, um, but I put that on and it runs pucker. Um, let's start her up. Super loud! Super loud, um, it's pretty quick now, obviously I'm taking it easy on it because it's just been rebuilt, so um, Whoever gets when the lad gets it back, and I'll tell her to keep it to 30 for a while and then change the oil, do all the good things you're supposed to do. Um, but yeah, she seems pretty pocket now. Um, so that's the job done. Absolute pain in the arse, but um, we got it done. So um, we're going to probably leave it there. I've been on it all day, more or less, and I'm knackered now. Um, done So basically, done a full engine rebuild, um, messed around with the exhaust, custom exhaust, I suppose you call it. Um, tune the carb or put a big wicking great carburetor on it and um and she's pocket now so uh, hopefully i'll be really pleased with it he did say before it broke he was only getting like 50 mile an hour out of it um this should be good for 70 now no problem um yeah maybe more i don't know i wouldn't really want to go much more than that on it though because uh pretty small wheels on mine when i tune mine up to one my board mine out and stuff you can get it to about 70 or 80 but it was sketchy as hell on these little tires and wheels but um, yeah, hopefully you'll be pleased with this. Um, I'm pleased with how it's gone. And uh, yeah, I'll leave it there. So um, I hope to stick around uh, for, I'm gonna be carrying on with the, um, with the Honda build um, and doing some dirt biking and stuff like that. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button, hit a like if you like it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.